Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. How are you doing today? I mean, really doing. Not the party lineup. I'm fine. But I mean, really, how are you doing? Have you checked in with yourself? Do you know what it feels like to be you today in every part of your mind, body, and spirit? Well, I talked to a few cancer survivors and patients today, and everyone seemed just a bit frazzled, numb, disconnected. And they actually said it to me, Saren, I don't feel like myself today. I just can't focus. I'm not comfortable in my own skin. So I remember a practice that I learned so long ago, way before I was diagnosed with cancer. And I just want to share it with you just for those moments where everything just feels off. I learned this at the School of Practical Philosophy in New York City. Now, according to the website, Philosophy means the love of wisdom, and wisdom helps us master the art of living. So I actually took a few courses there, and they weren't academic. They were really looking at the effectiveness of practical philosophy and how we could use it in our current day lives. So again, I'm just referencing their website and remembering what I learned from great minds East and West, including Plato, Socrates, Buddha, Shakespeare, Moses, Sri Santananda, Saraswati, Emerson, and many more. I just loved hearing all the different wisdom from so many different philosophers and then practicing how I could use their great thoughts in my everyday life. Now, this isn't a billboard for the School of Practical Philosophy, but I really did enjoy the classes that I took there. But this was a memorable exercise that they gave us to do that changed my life, and I hope that it helps you. One evening, we were given an assignment to do a mundane task, and I was given putting silverware in a drawer. The instructions that I got were to not talk to anyone, to do just the task I was given, to focus on the task that I was given, and if my mind wandered, bring it back to the task at hand. While I was doing the task, I was actually supposed to feel and see each part of the task and listen to what was happening while I was doing the task. So many of us have put silverware away in a drawer, but were we truly present when we did it? It was a slower process than me typically throwing the forks in the fork section, the spoons in the spoon section, the knives in the knife section, and sometimes messing up which went in which section. This was so deliberate. It was slow. It was focused. I felt the silverware in my hand. I heard it cling in the drawer, piece after piece. I felt the weight of the spoon was different from the weight of the knife, which was different from the weight of the fork. The way that I placed a knife the way I placed the knife was different from the way that I placed a spoon. You get the picture. And the sounds were different. The way a knife sounded when it went into the drawer was different from the way a fork sounded. I can't even explain to you 
how different putting silverware in a drawer felt that night than any other night when I put silverware away in my apartment in New York City. And it taught me deep focus, deep attention, but not only through my hands, but through my eyes, through my ears. It was a life-changing moment. So I want you to try this. Pick a mundane task that you just don't even really think about when you do it. And then apply this attention, this amount of focus, and using all of your senses while you're doing it. I can't wait to hear how this feels. It could be awkward at first. You could be resistant to being that present and using that amount of consciousness. The way it serves you is if you keep practicing it, eventually you start to live life with more focus, consciousness, and attention to detail. The reason why I want you to try it is because when you're not feeling connected to your life, when you are feeling out of sorts, to actually do this level of focused living can pull you out of that fog and out of that blech and into a more intentional moment. Oh my goodness, please try it. And please go to the Comedy Cures Foundation, comedycures.org, and let me know what it feels like after you do it the first time, and then what it feels like after you get really good at practicing it. So here comes my silly joke. Why did the optimist lose his job at the photographic processing lab? Give up? He couldn't focus on the negatives. (laughs) You didn't think I was going to let you get out of here without a very silly joke about focus. All right. Well, have a blessed and focused day and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor-supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to ComedyCures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax-deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit. 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair April 1999 and we've been going strong ever since so please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive thanks so much see you tomorrow guess what time it is it's time for me to read the disclaimer Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.